I'm Brenda from the Avant Garden Shop, and welcome to another episode of The Garden Gate. Today I'm here with Alan from Sugarbush Fairies, and he has some lovely fairy doors that he makes. And Alan, tell me a little bit about the fairy doors. Well, we hand design and craft each of our fairy doors to typically go in gardens and be placed within uh, amongst a tree or a rock uh, to create a fairy garden space. And these doors are crafted so that it adds a little bit of whimsy, magic into your, your area. Uh, to ask questions for people who pass by on, mm -hmm. on and intriguing them to see uh, what you've created in your garden space. Is it mainly for kids that, um, that like the fairy doors? You would assume that it's mostly for kids because of the, the whimsy nature of it, but uh, it's geographically for all ages. Right. Uh, it is an expression of, of creating a space that uh, brings something different into your life. And uh, that extends from young people right. to, to more older people. So, so you actually construct them and these can go yes, outdoors, you're saying? So yes. What's the what's behind that? We craft each of the doors in our studio all by hand and we craft about a western red cedar. Uh, we do put an exterior finish that's very particular for them to preserve them from uh, the UV damage that mm -hmm. the sun may, may cause on them to preserve the coloring and character and all of the little hardware, the hinges, the knobs, everything on them is a zinc based, copper based so it's a little fancy door that can go in your garden and last many years. Oh, they're nice very, space. very interesting. Yeah. I just love them. They're all different. Yeah. And we're going to find out in our next segment if the door is open or what the story is behind that. So I hope you, uh, hope you join us uh, shortly for that. We'll see you then. Welcome back to the Garden Gate. I'm here with Alan from Sugarbush Fairies. And Alan, we asked about the doors. Why can't I open this door? Well, Brenda, particularly these doors are the size and nature for only fairies to open. Oh. Uh, we craft them with particular fairies such as pixies and sprites and elves to, to go through these doors, not for humans or children oh. even. So as much as you're enticed to, to wanting to open the doors, they always stay locked tight. And that's okay. very important in creating a space for the fairies in your garden okay. and creating a doorway for them to magically come through. And that wow. comes from an old Celtic tradition of preserving a space on your property to allow the fairies to spread their magic into your life. Okay. And by us disturbing it by opening a door, uh, we'll probably break that type right. of possibility. Right. And much like gardeners uh, appreciate the, the uh, planting s uh, different seedlings and that and waiting for it to grow, uh, the fairy door is very much similar. There's a lot of uh, in, uh, pleasure in, in placing this and then creating a space and waiting to see what magic could happen around yeah. it. Oh, and that good. spreads from your neighbors to the children on your street right. to just to your own private little wow. space. That's wonderful. Well, thank yeah. you very much, Alan. This has been very informative and uh, we have the fairy doors at the Avant Garden Shop. You're very welcome. Thank you. We'll see you next time on The Garden Gate. The Garden Gate is brought to you by the Avant Garden Shop, your destination for gardening accessories and backyard birding supplies.